I could be wrong, okay? I don't have all the answers. I know I don't. Some people say I'm a terrible mother. Okay, that's fine. But I'm doing more than some. You know, I'm trying. Um, I was hurt. I was very hurt. What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl, Joy, back with another banger. <laughs> um, thank you for hanging out with me. And um, I want to say thank you uh, for all the people who are supportive and who love me and show kindness and respect. And I kind of want to say I don't mind comments that don't really necessarily agree with how I feel or the way I do things as a parent. I don't mind, but I do feel as though there's a respectful way to voice your opinion. And that's all I ask, just be respectful. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys the update on our little friend, and I have been trying. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you to my, to my room where I give my confessions. Let's go. Okay, I am back. I don't know what, I just ran up those stairs, y'all. <sighs> I did this last time. <laughs> child, I need, maybe I need to start exercising on the stairs. Going up and down, up and down. Woo! So, I have debated whether or not I wanted to give this update. I did. I was like, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> but I was like, hey, you tell everything else. What you gonna stop now for? <laughs> and maybe my story will help other people, let them know they're not alone. Oof. So, I know y'all love Clinton. Okay, yeah, I know you do. And we want the best for Clinton. All kids are different, so. <laughs> So here's the update. You know, I told Clinton he had to leave during the day. A lot of people make judgments based on the title and that's starting to become my new pet peeve. And as a YouTuber, I'm going to digress. I mean, I'm gonna get off topic for a second. As a YouTuber, a lot of YouTubers, they'll spend a lot of time working on a video. Um, there was one video I worked on the editing for two days. And sometimes it becomes a craft. We try to get creative with the, with the videos and the editing. We spend a lot of time, you know, more time on certain videos than others, cutting out chunks and merging and blending and this and that going to different locations always having to whip out the camera and then you want to merge it's a lot of work so when so sometimes when people don't take the time to watch a video okay sometimes they're long and i can yeah i can be long-winded it's our crap so it's almost like you're not appreciating the all the work that we put into the video so it's like oh they, they're just judging it based on the title but there's so much more and sometimes just like I teach my students in class, you have to have a hook line. What's going to make the reader want to read your essay? What's going to make somebody want to click on your video? It's a part of the process to have an interesting title, to have an interesting thumbnail, to make somebody want to click on your video. It's part of vlogging. So when we try to come, I, I particularly don't care for clickbait too much, but sometimes People do it to get their channels to grow. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, that's the whole thing about the titles. We are trying to get people to see all the work that we've done. And if you just have a boring title or a boring thumbnail, who's gonna click on that? It's part of growing your channel and treating YouTube as a business as well. Because uh, you want people to watch your stuff. So that's the thing with the titles. I was a little nervous with this title. <laughs> but I said, Bobby, I don't want people to get upset. She was like, but that's kind of what he did, mom. It's what he did. So I did talk about it with Bobby. <laughs> so y'all get mad at her, okay? Now don't get mad at me this time. <laughs> so anyway, very quickly and give you an update with Clinton. Yes, I told him I kicked him out of the house during the daytime, my loves. I mean, when we were little kids, we played outside all day. We didn't come home until the street lights came on. That's okay. <laughs> Some people still don't agree with that. I'm like, I do smell. What am I going to do? You can't please everybody. 
What am I gonna do? Anyway, so what I did the first two days, I was like, Clinton, so how did it go, buddy? You know, when he came home, when I got home, he was here. How did it go, buddy? Oh, I just, I just walked around. You know, I didn't do anything. So he wasn't productive at all. I don't know where he went. I don't know. So he was supposed to be looking for work, looking for a job. That's what people do once they start to break out of the mama's nest. You look for work because you got to end up taking care of yourself, whatever. So the third day, and I was like, Joy, you know, as a teacher, you try different strategies with your students. When they don't get it, your son is no different. So I took my time in the morning before I went to work. I wrote down a long list. I found a new composition notebook. I wrote down, I said, this is your goal. You have to have goals in life. If you don't have goals, you're just wandering through life without a plan. So I was like, no, let me try giving him a plan because I'm still trying different things, okay? <clears throat> so I said, Joy. So I wrote down, it was two pages, one and a half pages back and front. One, and, well, it could have been two. No, it was two and a half pages of activities to do so this was wednesday and then i was like you know i need you if you say you want to oh uh, let me try college no you who's trying what, what money anyway that's not the problem i said so i said if you say you want to go to college i said you're gonna have to do research this is your research i need proof and as a teacher my students have to show me evidence of the point of view they have to give me examples they have to uh, cite the evidence and all that stuff so I was like let me you know merge the two I said you have to show me you have to write me full paragraphs on the research you've done on uh, the army uh, job corps of colleges that accept low GPAs because he didn't try in high school at all no he did not and we have plenty of kids who don't try that's nothing new whatever so I said, you need to show me proof of that. And there was a whole list of other things. And then I thought, I said, Joy, you're, I'm struggling at, in the house, trying to move stuff in. Everybody's so busy. So I was like, I let him stay in the house Wednesday. But he had things, specific things that I gave him to do that need to be accomplished in the house before I got home. And I needed to see your notes. I needed to see full notes. Yeah. I can't remember everything I wrote, but it was two and a half pages worth of stuff. And, you know, one, two, three, cross the things off your list. These are your goals. Try to accomplish these goals, you know. So I got home. Only one of the things were done on the list. I'm like, that was in the house. And I was like, why isn't he crossing these things off the list? I was confused. So here we go. Thursday, he had to leave because he did not fulfill his part of the bargain. He did not fulfill his part of the bargain. So it was simple, just research the stuff. You got eight hours out of the house. You can go to the library, you can go to Starbucks, you can go to uh, the donut shop. They all have free Wi-Fi. You have eight hours in this day to accomplish a lot when you don't have no job, you know. So here's Thursday, I say, uh, I get home. I was like, so how did it go today, Clint? Oh, oh it was all right. I didn't, I didn't really do. I was like, so how much stuff did you get done on the list? Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't get much. I didn't get a chance to do. I'm like, and then I was thinking, I was like, this is not right. And I, it just, it was on the back of my mind. I was like, why isn't he accomplishing these things on the list? Okay. I let it go. I'm like, hmm, here's Friday. You got to go, buddy. Let's go. I said, where am I dropping you off? I said, do you have your list so you can finish working your way? Then maybe some people work slower than others, okay? But I'm like, what, eight hours? You couldn't accomplish this stuff on this list? Whatever. So I drop you. Said, well, I guess I'll go to the donut shop. Y'all can keep babying Clinton if you want to. As a mother, I'm trying. I'm, I don't know what else to do. If y'all want to see I failed, that's fine. I almost want to disable the comments for this. <laughs> because I do get in my feelings. And it could be just like four or five comments. I'm like, ain't this a blimp? I'm trying, y'all. Okay? <laughs> I almost don't want to read the comments. 
I drop them off at the donut shop. I said, okay, Clint. And I gave him $20, right? Well, Bobby, he, Bobby had to give him $20. So I gave him $20 cash and I was just going to let Bobby keep the $20. So I gave him $20. You know, if you want to buy breakfast. But mind you, he sold his gaming system. And he made, I would say he probably made about $350. Never offered me a penny. All the internet over his charges. We don't have internet in his house. I'm still trying to pay that bill, okay? Anyway, I go to Starbucks to edit. It's not a big deal. So, I gave him the $20. Which I probably, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's not the story. So, I drop him off. But when I, before we left the house, he ran back in the house. He's like, oh, I forgot my jacket. So I was like, oh, okay. So someone said, Joy, go back and check the house. So I drop him off. So I make a U-turn. I go back to the house, drive back to the house to make sure the door was locked, blah, blah, blah. And it was, I checked to see, cause we can lock the house. So we have to leave through the garage. So we have to lock it and just go through the garage. And so I was like, oh, okay. So as I was leaving, who do I see walking down the street? And it didn't click. It didn't click. It did not click. <laughs> so I'm like, I pulled up. I'm in the middle of the street. And he's on the other side of the street walking towards the house. I was like, and I rolled my window down. I'm like, where are you going? He says, oh, oh, uh, I saw you. You made a U-turn. And um, I, I wanted you to drive me too. If you can drop me off at Walmart to fill out an application. with his friends on weekends okay so he's not here whatever he hangs out with his friends on weekends I wake up feeling great I love all the sunlight that comes into the house so I'm downstairs I'm opening all the blinds to let the sun shine in everybody's in a good mood and Sydney has to get ready for homecoming so we're just getting the morning started and then I go to open the patio little panel things and I look I'm like Patio unlocked, and we are all paranoid about leaving doors unlocked. Sydney is so paranoid, it's almost like she has, oh, I don't know, it's like OCD. She checks the door at least five times before she goes to bed to make sure it's locked. Patio door, and there's two doors to our patio door that from our house to the patio from the patio outside the walkway which is very dark behind there and so then we have a pole because it's a sliding door to the patio but if that pole is down on the floor you can't slide the door pole missing both doors unlocked your baby clinton had been coming back into the house through the patio not doing anything chilling hanging out not looking for a job not doing anything around the house sneaking back so would i say that you, he done broke back into the house he done broke back inside the house broke in i was livid so i'm trying i'm giving you things to check off this is why they haven't been accomplished go ahead keep defending clinton if you want to go on keep defending him i got played my son played me. I was played by my son. He, it's like he's running from wanting to grow up, wanting any responsibility. Just like somebody else told me, I cannot teach him how to be a man. He's around girls. Um, he didn't have much of an example as far as a father. He doesn't have you know, I guess any role models around here. And this is why, personally, this is why I'm pushing the military so he can be around men, whether you are opposed to the military or not. 
he needs to learn how to be a man. And I feel as though if you go off to college, fine, but that's not, that's still not teaching him how to be a man. And uh, so that's why I'm really pushing the military to have that gap in his life filled. I could be wrong, okay? I don't have all the answers. I know I don't. Some people say I'm a terrible mother. Okay, that's fine. But I'm doing more than some. You know, I'm trying. Um, I was hurt. I was very hurt. And more importantly, he left us all vulnerable in the house with an unlocked door. And at nighttime, like on the side where the patio is, outside, pitch black. Easy for somebody to come into the house. Easy. And I don't have Jocelyn. If you follow my blogs, you know who, I mean, if you've been with me for a while, you know who Jocelyn is. Jocelyn will let you know when somebody opens a window, a door, a blind, or whatever. Door, open. <laughs> I don't have Jocelyn here. Plus, that'll be another bill. I'm trying to get my life together here, child. But anyway, Sydney was so freaked out. I kind of felt, I felt violated. And I texted him, because not home, I texted him, I said, so this is what you've been doing? You haven't been looking for a job, nothing. Anyway, that's the update. So Monday morning, and then the bar, the bar was missing. I said, where's the bar? Where is the bar? That belongs to the owner. The owner had put that bar there because maybe there are break-ins in the neighborhood. I don't know. So, I don't know. So, oh. Oh, 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 I hid it, I hid it under the sofa. Dead. Dead. At this point, y'all, say whatever you want about me. I don't, I, I'm done. If there was a mic, I'm, I'm dropping a mic, walking off the stage. Dead. Here's my mic.